Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Lo-Fi for Life wrote in about a month ago asking how to control an SP303 from the SP404 Mark II. And while I did like a video in the past showing a bit how it worked, um, definitely with like the firmware 3.0 stuff, and I haven't gotten back to talking about it, I figured it's worth uh, trying to get into again. So a couple things to note. The SP303 by default is going to use MIDI channel one to address all of the pads in all of the pad banks so you, the s and the sp404 bar, mark ii if you're in midi mode a will only be able to address uh, banks a and b that may not matter for you if you don't have the uh, memory card then you're not gonna be able to address banks c and d anyway so if that's the case then using it in midi type a just to address the first uh, 16 pads, the 8 on A and the 8 on B might be fine. Um, that said, um, let's just go over really quick the settings I have on my SP404 Mark II and why I set them this way. So first thing, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to go to utility and get into system. And under the MIDI menu, I have uh, MIDI sync out turned to on. And the reason why I did that is in case you have effects that you want to actually be in time to a BPM, such as a uh, delay, then you're probably going to want to have MIDI sync out on. If you're not really worried about that though, don't worry then about having the MIDI sync out on, you can turn it off. I have sequencer note out so that I can sequence the, um, the SP303 from the SP404 Mark II. So if you want to use patterns to send uh, note data over to the SP303, then you want that on. Um, I'm going to leave sync delay at zero milliseconds. I'm not like super worried about it, but um, it can be something to keep in mind. I'm going to have pad note out on. So I can, with pad note out, out on, you can see I can hit pads and it's triggering them. And another thing to note that you might not know, these are always, there's, there's no velocity sensitivity on the SP303, but if you didn't know, if you use the SP404 Mark II, which is velocity sensitive for the pads, you will get velocity sensitivity on the SP303, uh, what you have for samples over here. So you can do some like kind of fun things with that. Um, next up, if you, as I said, if you want to be able to address banks A, B, C, and D, you're going to want to be in MIDI mode B. Uh, as I said, I've got pad MIDI channels as one and two. That's just so that I can address MIDI channel one. Um, if you change your MIDI setting in your SP303, then you'll need to use uh, the pad MIDI channels to reflect that change. And then the last thing is I have note offset of 24. So we're moving the notes up 24 semitones. And that is because I want the pads here on bank A to match the pads in bank A over on the SP303. So that's all the settings. A couple things to note is um, you'll see pad one on the bottom here matches pad, or pad 13 matches pad one, pad nine matches pad five. So the SP404 Mark II, as I play up, is going to play higher MIDI notes and on the SP-303, it's going to kind of play down the banks. It can get, take a little bit to get used to, but if you assign pads in the... Um, it, you just want to make sure that you know like which pad you're addressing as you uh, do this. So keep that in mind. A um, couple things as well is, as I said, for pattern mode, if you hit... Um, not delete. Uh, if you hit record... And we'll just do pad one. I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to say, let's just do like 96 BPM or something. doesn't really matter. If I hit record and play, two things. One, you can see it didn't actually record these notes. And the reason why is because there's no samples on these pads. So that can be like a, a little bit of a problem. Number two, as you can see, it didn't actually... Um, you can't hear them because the external source is off. And this is something that I hope Roland will come in and fix. But what's going to happen is I hit this and now I can play. But you just heard it went off. 
So now it's on, now it's off. So it, it's sending this note off event at the beginning and you're gonna like catch it. It can be like a real annoying thing to do. That said though, and it, it only saved this pattern because we have a EXT source event. So I'm gonna delete this. There is a bit of a better way to do this in my mind, which I, I just learned this like a few months ago. I didn't realize that you could, cause you can't um, record a pattern in real time mode with empty patterns. Anyway, if we go into TR rec mode, we can now record, um, if we hold sub pad, we can select different pads. And now I can actually come in and make a loop and send over notes. So you can see it's sending notes. The problem we still have though, is we don't have EXT source on. So if you hold sub pad, hit EXT source, we can just trigger EXT source coming on. Now you'll see, it just lets that first note through. That's because the gate, it's got, basically it's treating it as, it as if it has a gate. We need to hit remain and turn that off and do this. So with la if you have EXT source with last step, it will just kind of keep self propagating itself. Now, let's exit out. We're now not in TRF mode and it, we still are playing and we still have this pattern. So we can now play this pattern whenever we want. And as I said, just to show you the rest of this. So if we go to bank B, this is these uh, on bank A here, bank B here, these pads are going to follow into bank B. And again, we can't hear them because the EXT source keeps going off. I don't know why, I don't want gate on for that. Okay. So you can see like, I've got like different things recorded here. And if you want to get to bank C and D, basically you just move to bank B and then you start down at the bottom again. I think that's all I have for samples. But anyway, I hope that's enough like of the different parts that you should need to set up to get this working. If you want to use the SP404 Mark II to control, set up patterns and uh, MIDI control the SP303. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.